Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate the value picker and dojo list text box controls. These are just two of the many new features and controls of the XPages extension library. Begin by adding an edit box and a value picker to an XPage. The value picker control is associated with a target control defined by the for property, in this case an edit box. There are three data providers the value picker can select values from, a bean, a domino view, or a simple value. For a simple value picker, the values to choose from are specified by the value list property. By default, these values are delimited by new lines. However, you can set a separator to be used between the different entries, in this case, a comma. It is also possible to associate a label with a value. To do so, set the label separator property. You can then prefix the values with a label followed by the separator. Refresh the page and click the value picker control. This displays a dialog which allows you to select and deselect a value from the given data provided. You can change this value in the target control, in this case the edit box, and the value picker reflects that change. To allow the value picker to select multiple values, set the multiple separator property of the edit box. Now, let's change the data provider for the value picker to a domino view. In this case, the view All States contains a list of states and their abbreviations. Set the label column to Name. This contains the full name of the state. Refresh the page and select the value picker. The list of states is displayed to pick from using their full name as the label. It's also now possible to select and deselect multiple state values. Lastly, let's change the data provider for the value picker to a bean. The bean simple picker also provides a list of states and their abbreviations. However, this data is read from a file instead. By setting the dojo type property, it is possible to set the value picker to display each value entry as a checkbox rather than as a list. After the page is refreshed, click the value picker control again. Values can now be selected and deselected by enabling or disabling the checkbox next to their value name. The second control I'm going to demonstrate is the Dojo List text box control. Begin by adding the control to the page and adding a new value picker associating the target with the Dojo List text box control. Let's set the new value picker's data provider to the bean simple picker used previously. This bean returns a list of states and their abbreviations read from a file. You are now able to select and deselect values using the value picker as before. But by using the dojo list text box control as the value picker's target, this allows you to easily deselect values in line without the value picker. For more information about the XPages extension library, please visit the website.